Good morning, everybody, and this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today. There have been a lot of requests to change the background to white, so your wish is my command. I have changed the background to white. Let me know in the comments whether that's better, or uh, pop us a thumbs up if it's better. Um, also, slight changes, just bringing in um, part of my actual trading strategy, which is the stochastics, but we'll talk about that later. I'll put a, a separate video on that um, shortly. But uh, for now, let's just look at price action. I think that's the key thing here. Okay, so if you like what you're seeing, if the white's better on your eyes, see it better on your mobiles, let me know. Uh, comment would be appreciated. Anyway, uh, starting off with EURUSD. So um, we had a bit of a pullback. So you can see we sort of tagged this uh, 123 area, 1234 area, um, and pulled back onto structure. Now, the structure we've pulled back onto is pretty much there's my first fractal and you can see we are bouncing off that bear in mind that we do have a gap down here okay so we've got this gap around here at 122142 but at the same time we have this um, trend line here which is also sort of intersecting with the horizontal trend line here so inside bar, pin bar forming on the 8th hour could very well be an area that it, we are going to reverse off. And uh, at the moment, that is exactly what it is looking like. Okay, so do have a bit of diversions here as well, low lows diversions. But um, what we want to do is we want to watch this top area here. So basically, for me, I'm looking for a break above this fractal at the moment, a break and retest here of 122726. So break above there, retest, uh, then I would expect us to target the top again of 1234. Uh, only thing that is concerning me is this gap is still open. Okay, so, uh, and if we do come down to the gap, it does break the trend line, then we'd start looking for something different. But I think, uh, from in my view anyway, we should get down to the bottom if we do get to the bottom here i think buyers will step in to try to drive it up one thing to bear in mind we still have chaos in um on our political landscape at the moment so um there's all talks of impeachment and uh 25th amendment etc going on at the moment and uh, then the other thing that you do have is uh, non-farm payrolls okay the jobs number yesterday was actually better than expected so um yeah those are the two things that are going to inf affect the markets today so just be cautious with uh, dollar pairs at the moment um us dollar japanese yen so yesterday uh, we said we we're basically looking at this area down here trying to see um whether we're going to get a continuation or a bounce up to the trend line so so you just got to draw all these things back in again that we had yesterday so that was the trend line we didn't quite bounce off it we've broken through it so, you know, if you look at the, um, the US dollar Japanese yen, I suppose what we should be looking for is a bit of a pullback for a move to the upside. Now, this has been a fairly strong move to the upside, and uh, we do also have continuation diversions brewing here. I suppose not really, ever so slightly. Um, let's put a line in here. Uh, take that back it's uh, higher than that point so there's no diversions there so uh, at the moment I have a feeling we're gonna have the same kind of situation here so probably reject off here come back and the question is whether we are going to be able to maintain one of these levels and there is a whole host of levels here I'm just going to put two of them in so we'll use uh, 103423 and then we'll use 103292 Okay, so that's kind of the pullback area. If we get back there and that holds, I would expect us to continue to the upside. But bigger picture, we are range bound. This does look like a pretty decent uh, double bottom and with diversions. Okay, so there, low, lower, low, low, higher, low. Okay, so that does look like we have a potential reversal brewing there. But as I said, political noise and also we have um, non-farm payrolls today. Uh, to stay away from the US dollar pairs stall. Okay, Euro Aussie dollar. Uh, we kind of had a, a measured move that was was met and we haven't really done anything since then. 
So for me at the moment, I want to see a decent pullback before getting in on this trend. And the trend is to the downside, so I want to see pullbacks. At the moment, there's nothing really there on the 8-hour. If we look at the 1-hour, we have pretty much a bit of a range forming here. And you can see below and above the moving average. This for me at the moment is uh, consolidating and uh, it's consolidating for a move either to the upside or the downside. So what we're looking for is a break up or a breakdown. The two levels that I'm watching here are 158433 and 157752. So a break out of that either way would get me trading in the direction of the break. Obviously I want to see the break, retest and then get in for the trade. Uh, British pound, Japanese yen. Nothing really much happening here. We have broken through this previous high here and uh, broke through, broke back down. And now we've closed above it again. But another situation where it does look like we are range bound at the moment and uh, probably more of a triangle that we're in at the moment. Okay, so that setup gives us a potential move to the upside. Now remember, uh, the day before yesterday we were looking for a continuation on this flag and then this flag. Let's just get those flags in. So there was the one flag. Okay, and then we were looking at this, which was a flag as well. Okay, this didn't materialize. We then went into this block, uh, boy, and that's still white, so just give me a second here, and we'll make that purple, there we go. So that block has broken, and now we've got a triangle. So for me, there are two measured moves here. So the first one is here, and you can see we came back to test the block. So that's the first measured move, which basically takes us just above the previous high and then you have another measured move which is pretty much this triangle which takes us slightly higher okay and I'm just going to give you the first level which in my experience is probably what's going to be tagged first so a break of this triangle retests this triangle to the upside you're looking for 141233 as your first target Second target is going to be 141334. Third target is going to be 141524. Okay, so that's kind of the setup that we see at the moment. And, uh, and wait for the European Open to see what's going to transpire there. What may transpire though is we may just end up with another uh, sort of a small range break, or sort of a small flag or small range. But that is a setup at the moment. Right now it's barbed wires, total confusion, but uh, worth watching for a move to the upside. Okay, um, Aussie dollar, US dollar, another dollar pair. We've had the pullback onto structure. There's my structure, that's my previous structure there. You can see we've got three tails on there at the moment. So, um, bit of a difficult one to call. We are below the moving average at the moment. We have tested, we dropped below, and then this last pin bar, which has uh, tested quite nicely. So for me, those are my two lines in the sand. So I'm looking for a break above 0, 0777 and a retest for a continuation of the upside or alternatively I'm looking for a break and retest below. I just want to fine tune it just a little bit. Okay, I'm just picking up these um, this fractal here because uh, this pin bar lines up with that. So a break to the downside is 0, 077414. So break, retest, then we're looking for a continuation to the downside. So at the moment, this could be a trend change, could also be a double bottom, oh sorry, double top formation here. Okay, so we've broken and we've come back to retest, and that takes me all the way down to this area here, which uh, would be first target to the downside, 077061. Okay, so obviously first thing we need to do is break either to the upside or the downside, and these are the two levels. 0, 77737 and 077414. Remember, dollar pair, we do have some political noise still ongoing and we also have uh, non-farm payrolls, so be cautious with that one. 
Okay, last pair is British pound, Aussie dollar. Uh, nothing really transpired here. Uh, this gap has finally closed. I think that's the first thing. And then we have these, uh, it's kind of, uh, how do I put it? Uh, it? It's sort of a bullish pattern, okay? But there, there are still sellers in control. So, you know, the sellers are still very much in control, but the buyers are coming in. Now, the question on, on your mind should be when you see this kind of price action at the end of a move, and the right reason I say it's the end of the move is because of my stochastics here, but because it's the end of the move and you've got these spikes to the upside, that's an indication that there are buyers coming in and they could be scaling in. It's not a case of buyers coming in and then getting stopped out because then it would continue moving down. So we've had three hour or three eight hour bars like that and then uh, nothing much happening. So I would ultimately use this as a level. Okay, so that is a, a level at the moment, 174320. And what I would also do is just pop across to the weekly, and we've spoken about this quite often, and you can see how relevant that level is. So are we sort of um, gearing for a move to the downside, or are we gearing for what's happened previously in the past for a, a move back to the upside and sort of picking up some kind of a trend up there? So let's just get to the hour and, and just have a look what we do have here. Right, so we had this little range yesterday. We broke up above it and we've come back down onto that range. So it's kind of messy at the moment, but that is the situation that I have that I see at the moment. We are sideways. We've had this pretty strong break and then we've sort of come back into this area here. So and then we've just been going sideways. So for me, a move to the upside, in other words, a potential trend change because bear in mind we do have a higher high here so if this stays like this that is a higher low I'd want to see us break above 174.990 retest and then I'd start looking at these fractal levels here for targets to the upside okay so that's the one way of looking at it I wouldn't be chasing shorts yet not because um, oh, because markets in a downtrend but I mean definitely in a downtrend here but we're at major support here and it's weekly and monthly support so if we can wait for the monthly chart to come up and knowing our luck it's probably going to take forever and you just do the weekly um, but you can see here how often we've interacted with this area and the monthly is going to be exactly the same okay so yeah for me shorts are a little bit worrying I wouldn't want to be trapped here because you probably find some buyers come in like this and just take you out. So, yeah, I think sitting on my hands uh, would be interested in chasing sort of a long, but I'd want to see some confirmation. That confirmation is 174990. Uh, shorts, uh, I think you're going to be, even if it does drop below this area of 174320, you're going to find that there are going to be other micro levels below here where buyers are going to step in. So, yeah, this is just a cautious one for me. I think I'd rather wait and see what transpires, but it does look like we have a potential trend change. Okay, sorry, last thing, um, and probably the most important thing. There is the original downtrend we've broken. We haven't tested it, so it is possible to come here, even drop further down to this 173978 area where the buyers then step in. Okay, so just keep that in the back of your mind. But... Um, now these three levels here are the ones that I think you need to watch. Anyway guys, that's it for me today. Uh, let me know if the, the white's better than the black. And uh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and uh, click that little, little bell. You'll be notified when the videos come out and they typically come out every single morning. And uh, don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you don't like it, let me know what, uh, what you think. Helps me uh, plan for the future. Anyway, hope it helps and we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.